Hello everyone, today I'm excited to share my experience building this new Stirling Kit model steam engine. Working live steam engine models have traditionally been either mammoth toys or super expensive Stuart model engineering projects. Chinese manufacturers have perfected proper working steam models that can be built without you making parts in a lathe or a mill. With over 200 parts, this kit offers an intricate and rewarding challenge for anyone who loves model building and steam engines. This all metal construction kit has beautiful cast brass, precision laser cut steel, and a robust copper boiler that's silver soldered for safety. Every piece is designed with care and it really shows. All the individual parts look jolly good to me, but I wonder how easy it is to actually put together. And how good am I going to be at following the instructions? The assembly takes a few hours, but don't worry, it's all broken down into step-by-step -step instructions. Best of all, these instructions are picture-based, making them accessible for builders in any language. Now, while the build went relatively smoothly, I did encounter a few tiny and fiddly parts that definitely added to the challenge. My main criticism the tiny bolts. They all come in one mixed plastic bag which made it a bit tricky to identify the correct ones. I would have preferred if the bolts were separated into modules and labelled accordingly for each construction stage. I ended up by mixing some up by guessing, uh, oops. So maybe sorting the fixture bolts into numbered parts before starting might be a good idea. This model could be used to power a steamboat. The reversing lever has servo connections and the engine has valve gear to power the piston in both directions. This level of sophistication was never available in kit form for an affordable price. Later that evening, 
it was time to pre-oil the moving parts and fill up the alcohol burner for the first time. But will it run? Once everything was put together, I was thrilled when it ran perfectly on the first steam test. But it does require a running in period on compressed air to loosen up all the moving parts. Be sure to follow that step. One key point to remember is this model uses total loss lubrication. That means that you'll need to add lots of light machine oil after every steaming, keeping it running smoothly. And as this model is a proper steam engine, it requires steam oil, which you can buy in small amounts on eBay. So these are my conclusions. If you're a fan of steam engine models, this kit is an absolute pleasure to build. The quality of the parts is high and everything fits together beautifully. And you end up with a working steam engine that looks and runs fantastic. For those interested, there's a link in the description to the Sterling Kit website. With Black Friday discounts currently running, it's a perfect time to grab this as a brilliant Christmas present for any steam loving friend. Thanks for watching and remember, full steam ahead. Hey everybody, who's noticed what an idiot I am? <laughs> what an obvious mistake I've made when building this engine. Um, it seemed to run reasonably well on compressed air, but I couldn't get sustained running uh, on the boiler. Big shout out to Aid Swash. Aid said, you shouldn't fill up the boys boiler with more than about 60% of water. So you've got enough room for the steam, <laughs> the head of steam. But that... <laughs> wasn't a problem look at what I did I put the steam in the exhaust port and I was putting the exhaust into the steam chest Duh. so now bear with me when I rebuild these engine I had to take it pretty well completely apart and I'll run it and see if it works any better hmm Hard to see, but it's actually on fire. Put this in there. 
Okay, you might be able to see there's a little flame in there. I hope you can see that. Will it work? Precious building. Yeah! Big idiot. Nice little engine. Let's build up lots of pressure and see it at full speed. Moral of the story, follow the instructions. <laughs> Thank you, Sterling Kit. It's a beautiful engine and it runs fine when you build it correctly. Thanks for watching.